What's up, guys? I'm the world's best Spanish coach. I put lessons exclusively on Medify. So, if you want a galaxy brain like me, click the link in the description and sign up to learn from a god dang Chad. What's up, guys? For this video, I'm going to be talking about parries and why, if you are a short character, you should be looking for parries a lot more than if you're a tall character. So, let's say I'm going to swing with a forward air, right? She's kind of in this awkward spot because I can hit her with a rising forward air. I can hit her with a falling forward air and like slow fall to get like good drift. I could fast fall it, make it better on block. I could always run up to her and say nair instead of she's expecting the aerial. And because rising neutral air is more that's going to connect on her, even when she's shielding, like it's pretty good pressure. And basically, I have the threat of rising aerials. And between the threat of rising aerials and the threat of having a lot of different timings I can swing, it's going to be hard for her to parry. Not going to parry for the shield. You know, if she blocks my stuff, it depends on my spacing, my move, blah, blah, blah. The ultimate is like a lot of show mini games I'm not gonna get into. But the point is, it's really hard for a parry unless I get predictable with my timings. But now let's reverse the situation. So Palutena, try and swing at me. Rising fair doesn't hit. Rising there won't hit. And if this is all Mordado, same thing, the rising aerials wouldn't hit unless it was like point blank like neutral air. If she wants to do an aerial at me, she has to fall with it. Meaning, not only first of all, can I kind of focus on covering the ground a bit more in case she tries to go for like dash attacks, dash grabs, dash shields, whatever. But it means I can also like shield in response to her jump as opposed to reading it and doing it a bit early to, in case she has a rising aerial. It also puts her in a spot where if she wants to hit me with an aerial, right? The timing for her is pretty linear. Even, you know, like back air doesn't hit unless she falls for a little bit. Like that doesn't hit, right? She has to do like that to hit me giving me time to react to what she's going to do, but also limiting the times she can actually swing at me. In this situation is pretty common. I'll be fighting someone, right? Like a Palutena, I do run up shield and they jump. So first of all, if she tries to swing and I block the aerial and she swings early and I don't get a parry, it's not great for me. You know, I'm blocking a spaced aerial, but she's still going to be minus on block. I can still do things that shield air through my own aerials and uh, pressure and space. And remember, I can mix up rising or fall because she's tall. I could jump lane throw a Pikmin. I could try and up smash punish her pressing another button. I could roll away if I don't like the situation. That's if I just block it. But let's say I'm looking to parry. So I'm gonna try and block and time my parry where I'm gonna block the earlier aerial that's not as great on block. But if she goes for a late aerial, a super low to the ground aerial, but she goes for something like this, let's say, because the timing is very specific on when she can hit me with this, especially out of a fast fall, um, it's a situation where I can kind of look to block the early aerial, time a parry on the later aerial, and honestly, a lot of times you'll just catch them with the parries because it's such a small one that they can actually hit you when they're doing these jump aerials. Let's say they don't go for an aerial, right? Let's say they go for like a tom walk into an attack or a grab. You can still shield and do something like, say I drop shield, right? But you can also jump during your shield drop so I can drop shield, and if I get the parry, cool, I got it. If I block something, cool, I got it. But if I didn't, I'm still getting the jump out of shield. You can also cancel shield drop with an up smash, meaning I can still create, like, scenarios of Punisher for tomahawking me, or to move around and space and throw stuff at her. So I'm not forced to just go for the parry, oh, I missed it, oh, I'm screwed. The fact that I create these scenarios just by shielding, and knowing she has specific timings that hit me is what makes pairing so powerful as a short character. And you know, tall characters can utilize these things too. Like you can still be Palutena and say, all right, I'm going to shield early in case I do a rising aerial and then go into the whole falling aerial parry game. But the difference of being able to mix up my timings on a tall character versus a short character is huge. That is why you should be abusing parries if you're playing a short character. Hopefully this is helpful. Honestly, I had a little bit of trouble trying to think of a way to explain this. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them in the comments below.